In this video, I'll show you how to solve the Alex problem called calculating and using the molar mass of elements. In this problem, it's going to give you a particular element. I am being assigned to work with the element gold, which has the symbol AU. You might still need to look some of those symbols up while you're getting familiar with them. And it is giving me a quantity of that gold. So I've been told that I have 0 0.045 moles of the gold. And the question is asking me to calculate the mass of the gold. In particular, we can see from the answer box that it wants me to calculate the grams of the gold. So to solve a problem like this, the first thing that we want to do is start by writing the number that's been given to us in the question, which is 0 0.045. We want to write the unit of that number. For this one, it's going to be moles. And it's possible that maybe in this question, you'll be given the unit of gram right here. So in that case, you'd be writing grams. And then the last thing that you want to do is write the symbol for the element that you're working with in this particular question. Our symbol is AU. So once you get all of this information um, taken out of the problem, you want to multiply that information by a conversion factor. The conversion factor is gonna be in the form of a fraction, and on the bottom of the fraction, we want to match these units right here. So since I have moles of AU, moles of gold, I want those exact same units down here on the bottom of my fraction. If the problem had given me grams of gold, then I would want grams of gold down here on the bottom of the fraction. On the top of the fraction up here, we want to write whatever unit we're trying to convert into. So whatever unit this question is asking us to figure out, whatever is over here in the answer box, that's what we're gonna put in this spot. And even though Alex doesn't have this, I also wanna put the symbol for the element as well. That's just a good habit to be in. So the last thing that we need to do in setting this problem up is figure out what numbers are gonna go into these spots. This is gonna be filled in with information from the periodic table. So we're gonna go over to the periodic table and we're gonna zoom way in on the element gold and on that particular element in this spot right here this number 196.967 that's going to give us the relationship between grams and moles for that particular element specifically what this means is that there are 196.967 grams 196.967 grams of silver or excuse me gold for every one mole and once i have this information figured out i'm just going to transfer this information into my little conversion factor so i've got 196.967 grams i want to transfer that up in here 196.967 grams and then i also have one mole so i want to put that information right there so as you can see our moles of gold are going to cancel out that unit's going to cancel out and we're going to carry out the math on this problem 0 0.045 times 196.96, I don't know where that one came from, 967, and that gives me an answer of 8.8, .8, I'm just copying everything from my calculator, 8.863515, the units are grams of gold. Now this problem is telling me that I need my answer to two significant figures, which means that I only am able to keep the first two digits in the problem. Since the third digit is a six, I'm gonna to need to round this eight up to a nine. So my answer is gonna be 8.8. Nine. Now, one last word of warning that I want to give you when you're working on this problem, you definitely should solve this problem using Alex's periodic table, which you can locate with this little box or this little button over here. Don't use your own periodic table because sometimes the uh, masses, this number that you get right here, sometimes they're a little bit different than what Alex has, and that could cause your answer to be wrong. So make sure you click on this little, little periodic table and use the mass from Alex's periodic table to make sure that you're going to get get your answer correct.